Hello and welcome to IGCSE Mathematics 0580 extended course syllabus topic E1 number module 1.2 which is about sets part 10 of exercise 4 chapter number 8 and as we know we are using complete mathematics for Cambridge IGCSE extended course written by David Rayner in question number 13 it says in a group of 59 people some are wearing hats gloves or scarves or a combination of these it means that in this question we have three sets g for gloves h for hat and s for scarves four are wearing all three so it means that number four is the common of all these three which is this one gloves hat and scarves then it says seven are wearing just a hat and gloves see that word guys just before that uh, this word instead of this word we were using only but it has the same meaning seven are wearing just a hat and a glove so it means this is the just i mean because i mean this portion is also the combination of g and h but it got s as well so we have to ignore it because we're using seven are wearing just a hat and a glove so seven is this one then it says three are wearing just gloves and scarves so gloves and scarves mean this just g and s so it is three here Right, then it says nine are wearing just a hat and a scarf. So hat and scarf, this one, so nine is this, this portion is nine. Then it says the number of wearing only a hat or only glove is X. So it means that only hat is X and only glove is X. Then it says and the number of wearing only a scarf or none of the three item is X minus two. So it's only a scarf is X minus two. This one is only a scarf x minus 2 and none of these three mean outs, outside of these uh, three uh, circle is also x minus 2 and we know that total is for 59. Then it says find x and hence find the number of people wearing a hat. First of all we will find the x same like if you add up all these portion that must be equals to 59. So let's uh, uh, add them up. So it will be uh, starting with the, this x and move left to right we have x plus 7 plus x plus 3 plus 4 plus 9 plus x minus 2 plus x minus 2 equals to 59 right and if you just combine all x's 1 2 3 and 4 so it will be 4x equals to and if you add 7 plus 3 plus 4 plus 9 minus 2 and then minus 2 that will be equals to plus 19 19 will take it take, take there so 59 minus 19 and we have 4x equals to 40 and we have x equals to 10 so we find out the value of x then it says and hence find the number of people of wearing hat it means that we need just need to add this four portion of h so it means that n of h equals to 7 plus x is 10 plus 4 plus 9 so that makes up 30 it means that 30 people are wearing hats right this is question number 14 before actually we start question number 14 just keep in mind this is the toughest of all but I am sure just listen to me carefully I will make it this question very very easy and I mean it just listen to me carefully what I am saying okay let's start it in a street of 150 houses, uh, this is houses in fact, right? Uh, three different newspaper newspapers are delivered, T, G and M, right? Let's see what it says next. It says 40 receive T. It means that the total number uh, of elements in T are 40. So what I will say is simply write it uh, N of T equals to 40. 35 receives G, it means N of G equals to 35, right? So far, so good. Let's play the, place a comma here. Okay. Next place, 60 receives M, it means that N of M equals 60. 7 receives T and G. See that, guys. He did not use the word only here. It means that he says 7 receives T and G, and T and G has this portion. And this as well right so that's a tricky part so what I will do uh, let me let's I'll name these places uh, I mean let's name this 
portion as A, this portion as B, this portion as C, and the middle portion is X, which is the common of these three circles T, G, and M, right? It says 7 received T and G. So T and G got two portion A and X, right? It means that A plus X equals to 7, right? Then it says 10 received G and M. G and M got two portion C and X. It means that C plus X equals to 10, right? So far so good. We just are moving smoothly so that you can understand what we are going through. So C plus X equals to 10. And, and it says, uh, and 4 receive T and M. T and, M, T and M got two common portion B and X. So it means that B plus X equals to 4. So we got, we have three equations. A plus X equals to 7, C plus X equals to 10, and B plus X equals to 4 as per the statement. Then it says 34 receives no paper at all. It means that 34 lies outside of these three circles, right? So 34 is there. Then it says, how many receive all three? What it says, how many receive all three? It means that all three is X. So we are going to find out the value of X here. So this is the interpretation of this question. Now, further move on. Let's, we have to name this portion as well something. Let's, let's make it small t, this portion, which is only t newspaper this small g which is only g newspaper and this is portion is small m which is only m newspaper. We know that n of t is equals to 40. It means if you add these four portion that will be equals to 40. It means what I am saying is it, it means uh, small t plus a plus b plus x equals to 40. Right. Now see that closely guys. a plus x equals to 7. It means that in place of a plus x, I will write 7. So we have left with t plus p and a plus x equals to 7. So it means plus 7 equals to 40. And we'll take uh, 40 on that side. So it means that uh, t plus b equals to 33, right? This is our equation number 1. Now let's deal with the uh, newspaper G. We know that we got 35 altogether. It means if you add these three portion that must be equals to 45. So it means that it will be equals to A plus G plus X plus C equals to 35, right? And then we know that C, C plus X equals to 10. So it means that we can replace that C plus X equals to 10. So we left with A plus G plus 10 equals to 35. And taking making uh, taking 10 on that side, 35 minus 10 makes 25. So we left with A plus G equals to 25. So this is equation number two, right? So let's deal with the third newspaper M. Total number of M are 60. Once again, same process. So if we add up uh, same like B plus X plus C plus M equals to 60. And if you look here in the third part, B plus X equals to 4. So it means that we can replace this B plus X with the 4. So we left with M plus C plus 4 equals to 60. Taking 4 on that side, so we are left with M plus C equals to 56. And this is our third equation. Right, God? So, so far so good. Now we have to make a mega equation. Means that we know that total number is 150. It means that if you add up all these portion, that is equals to 150. We will start to once again from T from left to right. So, it is T plus A plus G plus P plus X plus C plus M and then 34 which is lying outside so we have to add that as well so 34 
equals to 150 now this is a bit tricky part but you will be you will get it very easily see that now we have already made three equation we saying t plus b equals to 33 it means that this t and then that's this plus b will replace with 33 so we'll write 33 instead of t plus b then we have a plus g 25 so this a plus g will replace with 25 then we have m plus c equals to 56 it means that this m plus c will be equals to 56 and then we have this number 34 and then we have this x plus x that what we're looking to find out equals to 150 if you add this all up and take it on that side so x will be equals to 2 can do it with the calculator so x is equals to 2 it means that there are uh, two new newspaper which is in common t g and m in the next video we'll be solving question number 15 onwards so see you there